السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته friends welcome back to my channel in this session we are going to discuss how we can make connections for this DNIL03 it is a conductive liquid motor control circuit it is a level detector it will detect the level of water in this water tank when the water level is below the second sensor it will start switching and when it will touch to this point it will turn off when we are consuming the water the pump remain off when it will reach below this level this probe it will start switching again and it will fill the tank again so it will keep switching between these two points now I am filling with water when the water level reached here it is turned off if you have not subscribed my channel subscribe it if you want to watch my videos in future you can press the bell icon button if you have any suggestion you can write in the comment box let's start today this i have dinil03 it is a motor control the water pump control it have three probes here one common and two probes when it will sense the level in the water tank at that time it will turn off the water pump in this video we will make the connections for this let's see its connections now we will make connections for pumping in it is used in two positions pumping in or pumping out tanks Today we will connect it as a pumping in line. Line is connected here at this point. And we will make a jumper to pin number 11. These two terminals A1 and A2 that are to power up the circuit, internal circuit, the control circuit. And this pin number 11 it will make connections with this one or with this one one is normally closed so the line voltage at pin number 11 are applied to the relay common points and here pin number 12 is connected to the normally closed points pin number 14 is connected to normally open points a2 is the neutral or common so this common and here we will connect motor these two connections for motor and here are level sensors for example this is the water tank this is the bottom level then Z2 that is the top level it is probe Z3 we will make connections first of all we will make a jumper between A1 and the pin number 11 a1 and 11 we will connect the line voltage to a1 connection it is here and we will connect the second line that is neutral to the a2 point and in the place of this pump we will use this lamp so we will connect the common line at a2 terminal here for filling the water tank now the water pump will take water from the reservoir or it will suck from the earth and it will fill the tank when the water level will reach at this point this probe will sense and it will give signal to this Z2 point and it will disconnect this relay so our lamp connection or the motor connections are here we can see this lamp will work as a motor as a water pump line and neutral connections are here I will apply line voltage here now we will connect probes to simulate the water tank I am using this water glass we have three wires here Z1, Z2, Z3 Z1 that is the common line 
so it will reach near to end of the water tank it is z1 z1 is the extreme bottom level and after that then we have a reserve space for example this is the minimum level where the pump will start pumping so there must be a slight distance we can say one inch or two inch we can put water level that is reserve if there is no electricity the water tank must have some reserve water level I am just only simulating here with the minimum space but if you are using the water tank then we have to set minimum level at least one inch two inch this will go to Z3 this is the startup point then we have third wire the third probe it is common these are two probes this probe is the cutoff point at which point the pump will cut off so it is the top level here it will start pumping here it will stop pumping start point stop point so stop point will connect it to Z2 same we will place it here now we completed the connections this neutral is reaching here at A2 and we take a common for the motor line voltage are reaching at A1 so A1 and A2 will take 220 volt and it will power up the control card inside circuit A1 and number 11 pin are jumpered to each other if we are going to switch an other voltage other than this uh, 220 volt at that time we will not use this jumper we will connect control line here which we are going to control so now this is the sensitivity water sensitivity or liquid sensitivity the resistance of the water we can adjust it from here first of all we will set it to fully clockwise then we can adjust as per our requirement it is it will depend on the resistivity of the liquid this is the out point of the pump for the pump so it will control the relay based on the signals reaching here now these connections are ready and now we will apply power when the tank is empty the pump started it started pumping and the water level is reaching in the water tank this time the water is touching to the common and the lower level sensor lower level probe but the pump is pumping the water and it will pump until the level will reach to the upper level probe that is Z2 probe yes it is off the LED is glowing the water level is full now we will drain the water from the tank and the pump will remain off until the water level will decrease from the lower level sensor that is the Z3 probe you can see still the two probes are inside the water the upper level probe is now without water but the second probe the green wire that is Z3 probe still it is giving signal from the common line I will pull up slightly simulate yes it is now turned on why because the green wire is now out from the water the common is in the water the common line that is still in the water but let me close the camera here now the water level is touching to the green wire but 
the pump is working the lamp is on now I am filling water more still it is out from water I will put more water yes now it is turned off now I will drain water when the water level will drop from the low level sensor that is Z3 Z3 connection here green wire at that time it will start pumping again I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh